Good evening. I'm going to explain to you what these children are doing when they come in. This is often the way we will start a music class. They're not always dressed like this. Uh, this uh, is... When you still see me...
guys, will you sit down as near to the audience's feet as you can? Space down here. There's space down here. shoulder, <clears throat> watch their spacing, <clears throat> and have fun with it. So this is a dance from Russia called the uh, Toyota.
this helps the children sometimes to take off the ones they're not going to use. And this always takes a little bit of time. Let's do the ostinatos for your parents so that they hear what each one of you are going to play. This is really a layered ostinato. Let's have the metallophone ostinato first. Play louder if the curtains are soaking up the sound. One, two, ready, go. That's better. And they play that all the way through the song. Play it a little louder, my dears. Good. The reason they're not playing loudly is, excuse me. This class plays very sensitively. They're very musical. In the music room, this sound is much more. I'm always telling classes not to play so loudly. Uh, let's listen to the bass xylophone, not the chime bars. The bass xylophone ostinato. Let your parents hear that. One, two, ready, and. And you see if they lose the beat, we get in trouble. This is why our rhythm is so important. All right, Daisy, thank you. Let's hear the xylophones. One, two, ready, and. Thank you. Let's listen to the glockenspiels. You're playing half notes. One, two, ready, and. We listen to the chime bar. One, two, ready, and. So you have all those things to listen for, my dear parents, and we bring them in one at a time, and then the recorders are going to play, and then we're going to sing the four verses, and then we'll play the recorder for the ending. All right, here we go, kids. Telephone one.
wasn't rehearsed because I didn't know about this. You guys kept a secret from me. Yeah. 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 I don't know how. Paper. Oh, it's a to go on the window. It's a musical note to go on my dirty windows at home. <laughs> Excited about what, Mrs. Berg? Why, it's almost Friendship Day. Such a magical time. It better be. Where do you turn when you see your master plan go up in smoke? You do a real slow burn As you grind your teeth and laugh until you choke If y'all wonder why Then Murphy's Law explains the awful news If something can go wrong, it will That's how you get the Murphy Blues Work plan, but mother time's a shame. If a file broke out in 
in a local restaurant, you'd eat the flame. You felt so strong. Success was in the air. How could you lose? But something could go wrong, and it did. That's how you got the Murphy Blues. Whoa, whoa. With silver lining all around you You cloud the wild weather how yeah. Now you're crying over spilled milk And running out to find a different cow If you think you're cool And Murphy's laws just don't apply to you Murphy thinks of something new That's how you get the Murphy Blues Let's have a hand for the knowledge, the persistence, the insight, and the omnipresence of Murphy's Blues Oh no Anyone in mind for that? I'll give you a hint. Her initials are Doris Schwartz. Oh, you talked to her? Nope. Then how do you know she's got the blues? Well, when you pass Doris in the hallway, she doesn't talk to you. It's kind of like a puppy dog not waving his tail. Heavy duty troubles. She'll bounce back. Not as fast as you think. Are you kidding? She's the most resilient of all of us. She's always cheering us up and telling us not to quit. This is true. Now, who's going to do that for her? We are. I mean, that's the whole idea behind this present thing. We've got to get her something to show her that we really appreciate her and we care and we see she's doing a good job. What kind of a present do you think we should get her? Well, maybe a gift certificate. If she's always going to raise pizza, we could get her something from there. <laughs> she does go there a lot. That's because porking out helps her forget when she's feeling lousy about something. I'm afraid it'll just remind her how bummed out she is. Okay, so not raise pizza. What do you have in mind? Something official, formal, kind of like what we're doing for our parents. Something she can hang in a room? Now, where can we find a sale on horse thieves? What? All right, class, let me repeat what I said to you at the beginning of the year. You're not in this class to become a dancer. This is a body movement class. Even though there are dance majors here, the point is not to move like a dancer but to move like a person. Now, to just walk on stage very naturally is not as easy as it seems, you know? So let me give you a tempo. One, ba, ba, ba. Now I want you to keep this tempo and just walk very naturally. Let me start with you, Joy. Just walk. Five, six, seven, and walk, and walk, and walk. Keep the beat, honey, keep the beat. Drop your shoulders. Not for By them, it's too late for America. Now boarding all passengers will now be on the board. This is the final. Oh, great. Thank you. Right. Will do. Bye-bye. Now boarding. Further. There we go. All right, you wait. You want to take the window? Go ahead. Oh my God! Wait, we can't go to London. The plane can't take off. Why? What's the matter? I forgot to pack my blue dress. Well, we can't go. We can't go. Mom, you uh, tell the pilot I'll break it to the other passengers. Yeah, excuse me, ma'am. I have some bad news. No, Alex. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> you think you're so hot, Alex? Just because you got one little study scholarship to Ox Blood. That's not Ox Blood. Mallory, it's Oxford. It's one of the most prestigious institutes of higher learning in the entire world. Says you. Shame on you, Stephen. Baby picture's out already. We haven't even taken off. I'm sorry. 
Couldn't we have taken him, Elise? Honey, he had a cold. Andrew can't travel with a cold. It was either leave him at home with my mom or cancel the whole trip. I know, I, I know. But couldn't we have taken him, Elise? Oh, honey, it was, it was just a little cold. And I know you're going to miss him, but it'd be foolish for us to spend the whole time worrying about him and pining over him. And gee, isn't that a cute mm -hmm. one there, huh? <laughs> yeah, with the sled. You are late. I'm sorry. It... I don't want excuses. Do you have the film? You've made this journey very dangerous for me now. Oh. Got my pillow, got my book, got my honey. Hmm. I'm all set. Okay, just sit back and read. I won't talk to you. You're on vacation. I'll, I'll just talk to the person who sits next to me. No. Well, why not? Because, Elise, whenever we fly, you always talk to the person sitting next to you, and then we wind up spending the entire flight listening to some boring guy telling us his whole boring life story. Hi. Hello? Uh, what line of work are you in? On behalf of British Caledonian Airways, we would like to welcome you on board our non-stop flight to London Airport Gatwick. We ask you please to give your attention to the cabin attendants, who will now demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. The exits are now being pointed out by the cabin crew. As we are flying over the Atlantic Ocean, we are required to demonstrate the use of your life jacket, which is situated under your seat. Oxygen masks will be presented from the overhead panel or the seat back in front of you. So then when Alex won his scholarship to Oxford, we just thought we'd make it a whole big family vacation and... Excuse me, but you can't possibly have a son old enough to be attending Oxford. Oh, I, uh, I do. <laughs> I don't believe it. Um, well, I, uh, I do. It's true. It can't be. Well, it is. Uh, That's remarkable. I got married at a very early age. I was, I was 11 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> 